Hey y'all. Y'all recorded this video already, but I kind of said something I didn't I don't like for other people to say, so I'm not gonna post that. And I'm gonna clean this up the way I want it to be said. Okay. First of all, at this current time I'm crocheting. I'm trying to complete a hat. And I want it completed today so I can move on to my next project, okay? So, y'all gonna help me, okay? Help me. Anyway, so, um, first of all, if you follow me here, please follow me on my Instagram at Cecilia J. Um, my YouTube is Cecilia J. Uh, you can even go to my Facebook. It is Cecilia Johnson. So, go follow me or uh, whatever. Now, back to what I was talking about. First off, let's get into this tale. Too much stuff going on right now in this world to be worrying about little stupid stuff. Okay? And when I say little stupid stuff, I mean... The way these uh, young people are going about, um, I don't know, expressing themselves, I think that <laughs> the world need a reset <laughs> or a rewind something because these people is losing their damn minds, okay? One, okay, the guy who... He had on his blue and white polo shirt, his blue jeans, his blue and white goddamn new balance tennis shoes. He was looking fresh to death, okay? My husband, when he dresses, he dresses exactly like that. He has about 20 or 30 polo shirts, and I'm serious. He don't wear anything else. He love his polo and he love his jeans, okay? Um, <laughs> I do like ask him, is, would he wear anything else? He's like, nope, okay? His tennis shoes, he loves Jordans, but he love, he likes all tennis shoes. He will wear any, he will wear some New Balance, baby. And New Balance ain't cheap. Let's, let's clear that up. They're not cheap. And he's a grown man with a foot that may be about a nine. So, okay. But y'all thought that bashing him, talking about he wasn't fresh or whatever, what he had on and all this type of crap. You little girls need to grow up. And when I say grow up, I literally mean find you something else to worry about there is a there's a war on your life right now <laughs> like chill leave people alone okay just leave people alone then you got that with those young women you got the african women and the uk women Bashing American black women. Uh, I'm going to say this here. And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> you say you know your background. Y'all know your background. You feel like you, you guys are better than us. Because you know your background. We don't care. We really do not care. We are not here in the U.S. of the A talking about, oh, the African women, they this and and they don't know this. And they, we're not worried about y'all. For real. It's far less of us jumping over there than y'all jumping over here. Leave us alone. Take us out the group chat. We don't want to be in the conversation. We did not ask to be in a conversation. Okay? Now, I want to talk about the girls' trip. 
I have an 18-year-old daughter. I be doggone, for one, if she's going to go with some females supposed to be her friends that's not going to look out for her. For one, I know because my daughter will look out for her friends. Two, she wouldn't be going anywhere without any money or, you know, without enough money. But y'all dead ass wrong. Whoever brought it to the internet, you didn't have to bring that to the internet. That is something you talk to your friend about, to your friend. That is not something you bring to the internet for thousands of people to get involved in. Childish. Grow the fuck up. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. I tell my husband all the time, I don't understand. Right now, let me tell you, we're, the world is going through so much that half of us, and literally maybe half, maybe a little more than half, they got people out here. We don't know well the next, we don't know if the bill's going to be paid next month. Is my check going, is the, is the, is the company not going to pay? Is you We worry about real life shit. The bills got to be paid. The rent got to be paid. The car note, the insurance, the water, the gas, lights. I mean, like, come on, y'all. For real? <laughs> y'all aggravate my soul. My last thing I want to say to y'all people. Beyonce doing country music is not bad at all. I love Beyonce because she's a Houston girl, okay? And her music, I've always loved her music. I've always bopped her music. I am 44 years old, and I still bops. <laughs> I sure do, even with my cane, okay? Um, and yes, I said cane, and I did say I'm 44. I have MS and I cannot walk without my game. So, bam, there you go. Anyway, you have the other nationality. No, I'm not going to say nationality. Back that up. You have the uncolored people, un melanated people you have them and not all of them not all of them at all because most of them are loving it but you have some of these unmelanated people who is upset and mad that beyonce is doing country music first of all the girl is from the country texas is a big old ass country okay not a country as oh the united states no we are a big country ass state uh we live in Houston, and any parts of Houston, you may go, I live on the north side, and I going to say, well, but not too far from here, they have trail rides down there every weekend. So, that's country to me. Now, y'all want to talk about her doing country, she shouldn't be doing country, countries for the unmelanated people. First of all, not a uh, country was started by people stealing music. Um, do y'all history? Uh, yeah, we don't get into all of that. We just, just gonna say, I'm just gonna say this, okay? We don't act like this when we didn't act like this when our homeboy Eminem started rapping. How about Vanilla Ice? Okay, like. We don't care. We do not care. Hip-hop. We do not care, y'all. Like, <laughs> I'm going to pray for this country. I'm going to pray for our people. But y'all need to grow up. <laughs> for real. Y'all need to grow up. For real. And that's all I got to say. Bye.